So friends, today I will discuss the resonance frequency of tank circuit. Tank circuit means it consists of RL in series with L and the combination is in parallel with the capacitor and this combination is in parallel with the variable frequency AC supply and this AC supply provides the total current of I and in this topic we come to know what is the definition of the resonance, what is the variation of the dead with respect to resonance frequency and the resonance frequency derivation and the current at resonance condition. So first let us see what is the definition of the resonance. Resonance means if the applied voltage is in phase with the total current supplied by the source then the circuit is said to be in resonance. So for this tank circuit to get the resonance frequency it is necessary to use the admittance form of approach. So for this inductive branch the admittance becomes YLB is equal to 1 by ZLB. ZLB means the impedance of this branch that is RL plus J omega L. Similarly, in the capacitive branch, the admittance is equal to 1 by ZCB. ZCB means 1 by J omega C or minus JXC. Because it is a parallel circuit, the total admittance can be written as Y is equal to YLB plus YCB. So then, we can write Y is equal to 1 by RL plus JXL that is ZLB comes here then replacing YCB with 1 by ZCB that is 1 by minus JXC and here sec second term in the second term multiply numerator and denominator with J then the equation becomes like this and here this J and this J becomes uh, J square J square means it becomes minus 1. So this minus 1 and minus 1 will become plus. So Y equation will become like this plus 1 by XC whereas first term multiply the numerator and denominator with the conjugate of the denominator that is RL minus JXL here and here. Then after further simplification, Y becomes RL divided by RL square plus omega square L square plus J into omega C minus omega L divided by RL square plus omega, omega square L square. At resonance condition, the imaginary part of the admittance is equal to 0, that is this J term will become 0. Then from this, uh, by rearranging this terms, then the equation becomes like this. Omega C is equal to omega L divided by RL square plus omega square L square. And here omega means omega R, means resonance frequency. So from this, it can be rearranged like this RL square plus omega square L square is equal to omega L divided by omega C. So from this further it can be written as omega square L square plus RL square minus L by C is equal to 0 and further it can be written as omega square is equal to 1 by L square into 1 by into L by C minus RL square and further it can be written as like this omega square is equal to 1 by L square into L by C minus RL square with further simplification omega becomes omega square is equal to 1 by LC minus RL square divided by L square because under resonance condition this omega is represented with omega R then the equation becomes omega r is equal to root of 1 by lc minus rl square by l square. 
In this tank circuit, if RL is 0, then the resonance frequency will become 1 by root LC, which is also equal to the resonance frequency of the series RLC circuit. So it can be summarized that so resonance frequency will occur when the impedance is maximum and the current is minimum and voltage across the circuit is maximum. And it is also observed that resonance will occur when the current is minimum and the power factor is unity 